Hey, it's Scott Hammond with you, father of nine, the author of The Everyday Dad, guide to becoming a better father in Maui, Hawaii today, to suggest a couple things and to talk about what is a real man. Now, there's a lot of debate about what is a real man. Is it macho? Is it, is it uh, effeminate? What, what, what does it mean to be a real man? Is it, is it to be all hardcore and stalwart? Or is it to be a real guy? Well, I've got a couple ideas for you. A real man practices self-discipline, controls his temper and passions, controls his thoughts and desire, knows right from wrong, walks away from temptation, has a strong value system, and stands up for his beliefs. And in other words, a real man has integrity keeping the good stuff in and keeping the bad stuff at bay. And I would say with that, self-control. Self-control is another key to being a real man. Number two, a real man is willing to love sacrificially, to seek the good of others first, to make a commitment and keep it, to protect his wife and family, and to know that his body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. In other words, a real man puts others first. He's a servant. He's a servant leader which is a paradox because everybody wants to lead and be served as opposed to a servant serving and taking care of other people. In other words, a real man, he takes care of people. Number three, a real man loves God above all things. He trusts God and obeys Him. He leads his family in prayer. And a real man is happy and at peace because I believe when you serve God in your generation the best you know, there's a peace that comes with that. And that, uh, that kind of assumes a relationship with God and the fact that you have that, that thing going, that you have some sort of a, a connection to the Lord in some good way. So let's go with that assumption. Number four, a real man is a living example of God's love in his life. A real man puts his faith in God and not in himself. He knows he's a child of God. He understands his purpose in life, and he's obedient to God's will. In other words, a real man's humble. I think once a person, men or women, get a hold of God's vision for their life and figure out who they are and what God's created them for, there's a humility that comes with that and a knowledge of that and a, and a really positive confidence that can go with that too, that doesn't have arrogance. It's based in humility. Number five, a real man respects himself and other people. He has the strength of character as well as body. He behaves with dignity. He adopts responsibility for his actions. He thinks before he acts and he takes pride in his work. In other words, a real man has respect and honor for himself and other people and knows that he's an example. So dignity, not, not conceit, not somber Debbie Downer, but dignity, confidence, all that stuff kind of goes with that. And lastly, a real man is unselfish and generous. He's a giver. He's honest and trustworthy. He can go to the bank and what he says. A real man is honorable and dependable, kind and forgiving. Are you holding stuff or do you quickly forgive people? A real man is thoughtful and sensitive, tender and romantic, and unafraid to be himself. In other words, can you be that person to your daughters or to your wife or to those who need sensitivity or even another man who's maybe broken? In other words, are you afraid to be yourself? Our pastor Jim talks about being your authentic self. And I think what that means is it means to be unafraid to be you. And the idea of being you is the fact that better to be a first-rate version of you than a second-rate version of anyone else. That's what Judy Garland said, the Wizard of Oz actress. And so think about it. What is it? Who are you? What do you want? Can you be and are you a real man? And what will it take to get you to that step? To discover who you are and how to operate in integrity and love, kindness, forgiveness, and being the authentic you that you were created to be. I'm Scott Hammond, wishing you an authentic, real man day every day, the author of The Everyday Dad. Have a great, positive day every day.